Hey all everyone, this is the first ever IWT Q&A session. Um, I'm Wally, of course, if you haven't heard my voice before. <gasps> you are? And I'm being joined along with my co-booker of this damn fed, which is Hi, Joshi, no. of course. Slash Hello. Hello. And I guess we, we got some questions to be answered here tonight. We got some questions by the 10 fans that we have somehow that IWT has <laughs> and these the... questions all suck no I'm kidding okay and the first question comes in from Damar when do you when do you believe suspect will beat jackpot in the number of world title held held hmm in about three years. <laughs> in about three years. Yeah, I don't know. We're, I'm currently suspect won a world title just yesterday, so he's on eight now, finally, um, which is actually half of exactly of jackpots, which is sixteen. So I don't know if he can somehow pick up some wins here and there, get into some extra feds. He could actually get there within maybe a year or two. Somehow. Yeah, but but at the same time, you know, Suspect's been winning world titles and um lower feds, but Wally's been counting them because he's Wally, and as we all know, hey, Wally hey. has huge ego. Hey, I've been I've been keeping track of jackpots too. Jackpots don't make sense either. Okay, he has two of them from uh, um st- SMF like Story Mode Federation like. Forums wrestling. Yeah, but S- SMF. Oh, forums wrestling. Yes, yeah, the I was, forums. I was about wrestling. to say. Like, like I was about both... to say, if you said SMF itself, I'd be like SMF. No, no matter how much you like it, it's the most popular colleague out no, there, I, just by name association. I, I mean, the forum federations, the ones that we had back in the day, which were both run by Patch. <laughs> right, a Patch. Yes, those ones. I, Yes. I mean, I mean, are those really um, legitimate feds? <laughs> so, Not really. They shouldn't be counted as that. World title. Okay. Yeah, I... Some of those shouldn't even be counted anyway, because they're, well, I wouldn't say defunct, but I just wouldn't see it. But whatever, you yep. know? Okay. And on to our next question from um, WEDF has apparently asked the question, How? How? I'm not too sure how. <laughs> how did this all start? <laughs> Probably it's time, it's time, it's Vader time. That would be my answer to this. Yeah, because he just said how. So it's like, how? the only way I can answer your question is by saying why, <laughs> or what, or where, or when. The next question comes in from Burb, am- amazingly. Burb actually finally asked me a question. I had to beg her on the chat box a couple of times. Um... Why is Coca-Cola Ken listed as a regular superstar and an extra on the call wiki roster? This is this was quite an interesting question. I actually thought about this answer for quite a while. The reason is because um, Coca-Cola Ken, when he originally started, was supposed to be just extra talent. Seriously, I had no plans for him whatsoever. He was just a joke that I came up with from SEX. And, and he somehow got over. He somehow got over, I think, because commentators started popping for him and like people started actually marking for him. And plus his appearance in Collision was quite a big thing, I don't know, for me at least. It's just know. gray-haired Triple H in red. <clears throat> yes, me. he is gray-haired Triple H in red, but I don't know, it was a big... Yeah, but that, that's call fame. You're, you're breaking the call fame yeah. by saying that. Yeah. Okay, our next three questions come in from uh, Gran Narco, which is a.k.a. Kalen Rogers. Um, the first question is, who is your favorite car that Suspect has trained? Oh, she jacks. Uh, I mean, wait, um, what? Um, okay, the the actual, the, the answer to this would have to be, um, that I actually have trained would have to be a tie between Steven Spider and Eddie Dominion, <laughs> because those were the first two people I remember who actually lit, wait, actually, Kalen was really the first, but Steven Spider was quite a good train, I remember that much. Steven Spider is great. Yeah, Steven Spider was great, and Eddie Dominion. And Eddie Dominion <laughs> is dead, so I'd I'd say Steven Spider wins that bout. Okay, next que- and the next question was: Does Johnny require for technique? I'm not. Too That's sure. an NL question. Yes. Does Johnny Wait, require uh, for technique? And I'm not too sure. <laughs> um, he doesn't require like, a lot of technique, being black, wearing a mask, and carrying around a dick sock. Well, yeah. And the last question is, other than Commissioner Bowers, who is the best commissioner ever? The only answer I can think of this would be 
Um, this reminds me of a joke from back in the SMF days of Commissioner. <laughs> the Commissioner King King Caliph. That's that's my answer to that question. Because that was really good times. Yeah. Okay, our next question is well I'm I'm not gonna obviously read the rest of the comments, but um how great is Chaz? Chaz is not that great. I seriously I it's in, he's just a rip off of Chris Hero and I made him up for SLD because I needed some people for SLD and stuff. So yeah. He's not that great, but you know. I need talent. <laughs> I don't need to I, be I just built my roster with bunches of people that sometimes don't make any sense yeah and and i don't mean to be rude here but you know the guy replying to this is hadouken and no offense but you know at first he started as a cm punk and randy orton ripoff but hey yes it usually happens everybody starts off as a ripoff john morrison ripoff over here guilty um, Shane O'Mac rip off right here. Guilty, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it started off like when I first started Suspect. His first Titan Tron was freaking crime time. I'm dead serious. It was Brooklyn, Brooklyn, we got problems. I, like, that's how bad it was at, at the start. It was like a JTG and Shad like combination <laughs> with like it, Shane O'Mac in between. Was it maybe because he's black? Yes, no shit. <laughs> okay. Okay. I at least wanted to get that clear. Now, Hadouken, okay. of course, Hadouken asked ask... me a question. Um, Who cheated Hadouken from winning IWT SLD? Nobody cheated Hadouken. It came down to a vote, and simply you lost out. It's not my fault that... Yeah, our the, the fans, fans voted you out. You voted they, you out. <laughs> okay. They said, I you can... do not deserve to be in the suspect lariat dungeon. Yeah, it's the same thing with um Sean Heritage at the moment. He got eliminated, like... Um, and actually, I actually, he had, like, a good record in two, and he... He had the best record. He had the best record coming in, like, four and one, which is quite good, so, you know, it's not my fault if people didn't like him, and people voted in for everyone else but Evan O'Shea and Sub-Zero, so I guess they... Also, I do have to say, Sean Heritage is an amazing call. Hey, you never know, he might even turn up in IWT before the winner, even. He might just bro this clay this whole thing. Yes. Um, okay, um, the next question is, how much do you wish Johnny Juice would return to KPW? I really wish Homer. Johnny Juice would return to KPW. Johnny Juice is freaking epic. I mean, <laughs> Johnny Juice. <laughs> T is like one of my favorite tag teams in KPW. It's like, yeah, they're just one of my favorites. And I really, really wish Johnny Juice would come back, even though he's retired now. Um, do you have plans for Suspect in the future? Do you plan and try to get him into a league of some sort? And that question is from Biff. So, um, do I have plans for Suspect in the future? I, I just want to get him into any Fed, really, at the moment. I'm not, I haven't been looking into any particular plans. I, I obviously want him to win world titles and beat Jackpot, but at the same time, I, I do keep, I do keep a certain level of, like, politic in, like especially in WEDF, like I don't try to I don't try to force him into a world title shot. Um, yeah, he never really did anyway. He was just like, hello. Yeah, I never I never pushed suspect into a world title shot, and that's why I'm really happy with the current. Um, I've been I've been getting a bit tired of the feuds sometimes. Like I didn't like I didn't like the Miz's the how the Miz feud ended. It was kind of really. Uh, rushed ending, and it didn't make much sense at all, and it didn't really lead anywhere. I mean, and plus it made Suspect look too strong. Yes, by losing. As <laughs> I don't know how that apparently, happened. apparently, but you know, I, I, th- I think the the thing of it is, is just the way the match went. Because I understand it, you know. Yeah. Suspect was in two matches, and yet somehow he was still like a hundred percent able to beat Miz. Yes. You know, but at, at the same time. I didn't see the match for myself, but apparently Suspect wasn't tagged in as much, so... Yeah. You take the call on that, you know? Yep. yep. Do I plan to get him into any certain league of some sort? Um, Not new TNA, it sucks. <laughs> um, I... I I am I was looking through I was looking through the call wiki page today of suspect and there's a bunch of contracts that never landed anywhere I I'll say that to be honest like everyone remembers ICWL which was like the shadow joker thing that never led anywhere um that was oh, one I was actually really looking forward to that show because it looked like suspect was actually really going to get somewhere he punched out Biff on the first show which I remember so 
Um, yeah, I remember that being something quite cool and stuff. I kind of like dropped out there for a little bit. I don't know what just happened. Yeah, but... but that's fine. It's it's still recording and stuff, but yeah. Um, yeah, sometimes it just drops when it does that, but it's it's okay. Yep, yeah, and yep. Yeah, so ICWL was one of the big things I really wanted him to get into. I guess it never happened. Um, I, ICWL I, really was a good idea on paper. Yeah, it looked like a really good paper. On paper, it looked really really good. And um, I remember there was the. Apparently, also, I remember back when I used to be on the SMF boards, I actually have suspect was actually contracted to CCF even at one point, <laughs> surprisingly. But, um, of course, Triple Sex being the lazy bastard that he is, never actually made another CCF show, really. So, and it oh, kind of, when he says kind of, CCF's like, coming back, it's not. Yeah, so, I, I don't know. I don't... I, don't think he, I ever have a plan when going into a league. I kind of just see what the talent is on the roster and try to I try to put him in good situations wherever I can see a good rivalry can actually develop, usually. Our next question comes in from TC again. Who? This is just like how. It's like, what? Why? Where? Who? Um, who would be Joshi? He is in the skull. Okay, on to he, the next he, he's a he is a fat person. He is a fat fat. Other, okay, no, no, no. okay here's, a, here's some generic questions from C.B. Carter. I, I was actually asking for some generic questions. I was waiting for these. Um, other than Suspect, who is your favorite car, and what car feds do you follow? Other than Suspect, my favorite car, and this is actually coming... I am actually dead serious. My favorite car is Osha Jax. I am <sighs> about this. Really? Yes, I am actually dead serious, because it was... I think because we came, when we came out of, when we used to play online, I always thought that, like, Ocean's X would really be a big thing. Well before even Suspect, like, got into it, I thought Ocean's X would be the next big thing. He was going to be, like, the next big Danny Jackpot. I honestly thought that. And that's why I wanted to push him in. I remember when DCO started and he was jobbing out to Kale and I was like, WDF, why aren't you pushing Ocean's X? Like, Ocean's X is, like, the next big thing. Seriously, like really, like, build up a Suspect versus Oshijax feud and, you know, make me drop the title. It's like, you know, pass the torch on, get Oshijax into this. Like, seriously. Like, And, ironically enough, Oshijax has been feuding with Danny Jackpot. Yes. Like, I don't know, like, it's, seriously, like, why why didn't it happen earlier? I, I was like, for, for a long time, I was like, well, what happened to Oshijax? <laughs> and, yeah. That's why he's one well, of my favorite. Well, to Kalen, you know, I was mad at it at first, but I'm okay with it now because at the time, you know, Kalen was a bigger guy, and then I, I remember from WCW specifically just the one major incident where they had an unknown call yep. in Hadouken yep. go over a guy who, you know, in the shared cont- continuity that is called the Vivian Verse. Edge was like a multiple time world champion, and yet this unknown guy comes in and just beats beats Edge clean. Yeah. So it made no sense. And plus Kalen was a bigger name than Osha Jax was at the time, so it did make sense to do that. Yep. At the time. But then afterwards we see the put the the tipping point and we, we know that Osha Jax is actually really the bigger star at this point. Well at least I think so at least. I'm pretty sure everybody at least thinks so, you know. I got a pretty wide ass following. I'm not I'm not going to lie. Yeah. I don't want to toot my own horn or anything, but I mean I, I don't even think Suspect honestly has a problems. following at times. I I, wa- I wonder where his fan base even is. I, n- I never see any comments about Suspect at all. It's mostly like hate comments that I get. <laughs> I never I never see anything positive about Suspect. So I I always wonder where well, they're not really hate base. comments. It's more or less criticisms from Burb. It's I not, don't see really not, hate on suspects. Actually, I've actually seen a bunch of comments like on WEDF vids where, where it just goes, oh, thank the lord, suspect didn't go over. I was like, oh, okay. So I have I have like a group of people who don't like suspect and I have like no comments about like him putting on a good match or anything. <laughs> so Yeah, well, I mean like, you know, there's, there's that and there's also, you know, the other thing about it, like it, it happens with me too where it's just... um. 
I'll be commentating, and I know I'm good. Everybody says I'm good, and yet on comments in WEDF, oh, she jacks his voice is so annoying, man. I wish he'd shut up. I wish somebody would just, you know... Yeah. But I think that's that that got to do with the guy. character also, in, in a way, because the character that you put on is, is kind of the annoying heel, which is kind of the, the job that you are set to do, so... That's Correct. Expected in yeah. Way. So I'm I'm really you know getting the right pop. Yeah. So well, yeah. Well, I well while suspect being the fan favorite, like like the the generic ba- baby face of our time gets like nothing. <laughs> he gets like <laughs> like he gets like the the Alberto Del Rio pop pretty much. R- really, I think the problem with suspect is just that you know, WEDF's tried to do so many things with suspect, but. As soon as he tries to push him somewhere, it stalls out and goes flat because, you know, here comes hate comments. Here comes people criticizing suspects pushed. And basically what happens is, you know, suspect gets stuck in limbo. So it's like, okay, this doesn't work. This doesn't work. This doesn't work. What do I do now? Yeah. And also sometimes the storylines just end in what the fuckness. Like, especially like the... the... Actually, pretty much all the storylines never ended really properly. Like, the Dolph Ziggler storyline didn't end properly in the first place. I don't know how... That was the first yeah. episode that, that we actually started. Um, then there was the PA storyline where the it was story line, which ended suspect really... one-sided. Yes, which left suspect with nothing and killed his 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 first wrestle you know his first WrestleMania where he you know had won like two titles over the like you know the course of the year you know he had like breakout performances and matches and then he has a job out in the middle of the in like you know in the middle of a freaking card right on, on like and, the and grandest stage that... of them all he he loses out in, in like the middle of a, like a handicap match <laughs> and after that there was no payoff to um suspect yeah. there was like no revenge factor for him whatsoever there was nothing that said you know welcome to wedf don't go on raw or something like that you yeah. know like i even told wedf i wanted like a actual clean finish like if it wasn't in a match or something then at least have suspect take these guys out when they're like bragging on raw about their win the suspects like you're gonna wish you weren't here that way when they appear on smackdown suspects got his full revenge and he can go on with his life instead we got we won the best. We won the award for the worst feud of the year. KK, hug it out. <laughs> yep. Except for the whole huge argument that happened that we're not gonna mention here. Okay. And um, I think the other part, the other question was, what car feds do you follow? Um, the car. Not too new TNA. It sucks. <laughs> I actually kidding. follow new TNA. That's that's the first one I'm gonna mention. Is actually a really good fed. I I, I can actually follow it, and I really like it. Um, WEF is another one which I actually I mainly follow Raw more than SmackDown. I don't know why, but it's cause it, suspects on it. Shut up, you know it is. Yes. Um. Okay. WCW. I actually don't follow it as a whole. I just watch the suspect match and I skip everything else. You know, that's kind of what I do. That's everybody. It's. I mean, honestly, that's everybody. You know. Hey, my call's in the sleep. I'm gonna watch my match here and then I'm gone. And Jeremax. Jeremax is actually something I watch in whole. Like I really, oh, yeah. really like Jeremax. It's like one of my favorite shows to watch. I Jeremax really is love Jeremax. Really good. Yes, I love Jeremax. Um, next question. TC says, "Derp, derp, well, derp to you too." Okay. Next question again from TC. Um, how is it that no one can spell Civil War correctly? That is actually the correct spelling of Civil War. That is how Derek spelled it, and that's how we will continue to spell Civil War. C I V A L. Sival. Sival. Sival War. <laughs> Sival Venus War. Oh, wow, I made a pun. Uh, okay, the next question is Sprite. Sprite says heart. Well, I heart you too, Sprite. That's not a question. <laughs> well, that's pretty awesome still. The next question is Rauer. Um, I never watched Rauer, <laughs> sad, sadly to say, but uh, yeah. Rauer had the greatest ending ever. You should all watch it. Yes, I did not. Okay. The next question is from Sprite again. Do you like cats? Yes. Um, I... I like the cats in between a girl's legs. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> uh, yes, I will go with that answer, too. Um, the next question is Civil War? Yes, totally, Sprite. We should totally do a Civil War. N E S E E slash N A W South slash whatever it is that Sprite has with I W T. Yes, yes, do it now. Yes, I'll record the matches where my guys win and you record the matches where your guys win. KK? KK. <laughs> Will Vince buy TNA? 
Um, asked by TC. Asked by TC. Um, I'm not too sure. Why would, got... why would Vince even bother to buy TNA? Doesn't he yeah, have a good like roster? And, no, and... plus there's, there's, no, there's nothing to gain. It's not like WCW where Vince McMahon, you know, he knew he was making a good investment. You know, TNA is just like... They've never been able to compete on compete on a WWE's level. They've never been able to make a dent in the WWE's popularity. So it's just like, you know, it, like even you can look at the Monday Night Wars. TNA's like, oh, we're going to war with you, WWE. You, you're not going to win. Yeah, you're going to lose. And yet WWE's got three shows and they're just competing with Raw. And so WWE's looking at this like, okay. They don't even care. I mean, I mean, seriously, the funniest bit of that whole, like, series was when they went to Monday nights, when they tried to switch to Monday nights, and it was, like, horrible. <laughs> like, they did really seriously worse than when they were on Thursday nights. I mean... Yeah, and you know what's the main part of that? What is the main point of that? The worst part of that is, you know, one show they go live, and they get, like, the regular rating they get on, um, Thursday... Yeah, and then there's some shows that were taped, and so when the shows were taped and played on Monday, it's just like, okay, there's no reason to do this. Let's watch Raw or Monday Night Football or whatever. Yeah, and that in the end leads to Impact getting crushed in the ratings. Yep, and then moving back to Thursday night with the cheap excuse like, oh, our fan base preferred Thursday nights. Uh. But, you know what they could have done? It's not even the the fan base or anything to do with it. It's just plain and simple. TNA's product is garbage. Yep. And I'm a TNA fan and I defend some of the stuff TNA does. And I can just say their product's garbage. And on to the next question um, from True Colors. Through the rules, suspect has blue hair. Yes. Yes. Actually, yes. Um, in, in 2012, suspect will move over to light blue hair after Danny's call. Because I actually uh, really, really like that call. <laughs> For some like, strange... You you like the light blue hair, though? Yes, I kind of like the blue hair. I don't know. I, I, might just keep it as, I might just keep it as an alternate attire, but I'll keep all the regular ones red, obviously. <laughs> yeah, I, keep, keep, keep the blue one in mind, though. I want to see it on, like, 2011 or something, where it just, like, you know, where you could, like, have free access and creative control over it, kind of, you know, because No Mercy is limited as is. Yeah, No Mercy is really. I've been, I've been texturing away though. I, I've been, I've been getting st- somewhere with texturing these days. Um, I managed to I, texture away Max DX damage into the game, which is amazing. After I found a Sting Call and started working on him, so, you know, you, 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 you could still do a lot with No Mercy texture mods, but at the end of the day, it's No Mercy. Come yeah, on. yeah, yeah. I know, I know. I'm seriously like, like the the. The move sets are quite limited in the amount you can actually do in a match. So, um, yeah. And on to the next question from Dylan Connell. Amazing. <laughs> Dylan Connell has asked us two questions. Um, one, will you watch, uh, watch Bitchamania? Hell no. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. Maybe because apparently if what the whole storyline is with uh, SMF and WEDF and NAW, apparently SMF, uh, they're doing something with them and i'm wanting to see where it goes and i've heard like the storyline reason behind it uh, yeah Appar- I've, heard, I've heard it's the passing of the torch and stuff yeah like that. It's i'm, quite I'm a- hearing like really good positive stuff about it so you know it's just like okay one final hurrah maybe, maybe i'll watch it maybe. maybe i i remember watching i i actually sat down one day with damar and i actually sat through a whole like a whole cpv and and stuff and i was I was really, really angry by the end for some reason. I don't know why. It, SMF used to not annoy me as much, but I think after the NL um, angle, like the NL UMAD, like I think it kind of opened up my eyes and started like I started questioning, like, whoa, okay. Yeah, I mean, this like... doesn't actually make much sense. Like this seriously didn't make any sense. The ending was the ending of that CPV kind of just a- angered me because like. Um, I think it, yeah, was, it was, it was, it was Boom and Shindubasa or something, and then, like, or, or I forgot, someone, like, I think it was Shindubasa and someone, and, like, uh, Shindubasa cashes in a money in the bank that he just, like, grabs in a match that no, he doesn't No, 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 that's the UMAD, I'm talking about the CPV after that. Um, oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, the I one where he, oh! where he, he stands on a table, and then he F5s him, and then by glitching, Amazingly, the guy goes on top of the uh, on top of the hell in a cell, and he has oh, to pay. Oh yeah, yeah. And, and, then, and, then, and he just pins him off that. And yeah. I was like, 
why did you pin off a glitch? And he's like, um, I actually, I actually wrote this on the forums and I actually said, like, why did you, why did you think this was a good idea? I was kind of really annoyed by this, you know. It just made the match quality really crap to me. And he but, was like, he was like, oh, it seemed really cool at the time. Like it seemed like he threw him over the cage. I'm like, but it's obvious, it's a glitch. <laughs> it's like it's too obvious. Yeah, but if SMF was like more of a joke league, and yet sometimes it is, and sometimes it's not. Yeah. You know? Well, if if it was like Hogan versus Flares and shit like that, where they're like you know, oh he did that, look at that strength or whatever, you know, I I could yeah. I could kind of get behind that maybe. Yeah. Um, and number two, will you be in the Bitchamania Hardcore Madness? Um, am I going to get run over by a car or something, or do no, I? No, you're, going, you're going to get pinned by water. I have to get pinned by water to be in the Bitchamania Hardcore Madness. I don't. I don't know. I I'm I have this I barely go on the SMF forums as it is. It's it's quite a I don't know. I I kind of have a I don't know. I just stopped turning it's, up. It got it got a bit boring after a while. I guess number one, it's outdated. Number two, it's just the environment there is it, it's pretty depressing to be yeah, honest. Uh, yeah, even even with after Dingo's like all of his sub forums that he added, all that like he added like cars and t- like UFC and. Uh, he added a bunch of different sections, but still, like, the overall forum just seems, like, uninviting now. I don't know. Just really sloppy, and nobody really cares other than just yeah. a few other people that normally go there and visit. It's a, it's a new board, basically, yeah. if anybody remembers the new board. And the next question is from uh, TC again, because TC asks a lot of questions. Um, and he, he says this question, I have to say this, Bal Erna. Seamus. Bal or not Seamus? Um, I was bringing this up in the chat box the other day when, just before Dylan actually asked this question. So, um, I was I was bringing up the WFF days when we all remember ballerina Seamus, which was good times back in WFF, honestly. Yeah, but I, I don't remember anything about this Bal Erna Seamus. Yes, I don't remember Bal Erna Seamus, but yeah, ballerina Seamus was a joke, and he got kidnapped by Bakatono and all that stuff. Um, Marina Sheamus, the only um, WFF Divas champion ever. Yes. Um, on to the next question. How much does Dylan Connell weigh? Um, ask Mr. Spriggs. Yes, ask Mr. Spriggs. Um, I'm not actually too sure. He sounds really, really fat, but that's just me. <laughs> um the next question is from Biff again. Will <laughs> will the Danny Jackpot Appreciation Day be a CPV? I'll answer this straight away. No, it's not a CPV. It's just pass out our normal shows. Um, it's, it's special. It, it's it is a special show, as in it's it's the first pass out. Like you know, we take forever to put out shows because I'm busy and shit. And um, yeah, I've been planning this. I, I planned this out be a good storyline and stuff like that so Danny Jackpot Appreciation Day is pretty much Danny Jackpot is going to be GM for the night and yeah he's going to run he's going to be the GM and he's going to make the matches for the night and then yeah that's how the show is going to go you know that thing you told me about or you know the thing you told me about yes I told yes Danny Jackpot Appreciation Day is pass out Um, is it going to be streamed no, it's not going to be streamed. It's going to be put on YouTube because I it's want a proper to, show. It's a proper show, yes. I'm only I'm I'm limited to the um, like the amount you can stream realistically is like quite limited hey. with with no mercy. Like I can't do storylines if I'm streaming. Like you otherwise it'd be too obvious. Oh, look, I started a match in the middle of the ring and he goes all the way to the back. <laughs> well, not not unless you like like do some shum search. Some some people I've known um. They've actually edited a full show and put it together and like streamed it on their 360. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can do that. That's possible. But I don't know. I, I, I don't feel comfortable streaming a show like that. I wouldn't want to. I, I just want to get the commentary and get it professionally done. And, I don't know, be more professional about it than, than just stream the show. I think it, it loses the impact that it does when you have commentary. Like, the commentary makes the actual show much better than it should be. Right. Mm-hmm. Um. Next question again from TC. If you have a question, will will you answer it? I well, I've been answering all your questions so far, so yeah, I'll answer anything. Um, the next question comes from Dan, um, Dan from to- Total Dan Nation of DGW, which is another yes. suspect. Then, um, why don't you love me anymore? Um, I still love you, Dan. Okay, I I still love everyone. Okay, 
Um, what game are you planning to use for future IWT shows? I'm guessing No Mercy. Um, you're right. I'm stuck on No Mercy as of the moment because the- you should use WCW Backstage Assault. Seriously, because the people, the shitty people at Blitzbox left me with a dud Blitzbox, and yep, I've been still in contact with them for like the last two months now, and they're real assholes. So, um, I'm stuck on No Mercy along with... I, I have VPW2, Virtual Pro Wrestling 2, which is quite a good... I, I, I'm really ha- I'm quite pleased with that game because it's quite good for IWT extras. Like, you saw that um, Extra 4 with Project Devil Iconic and uh, Yoshitatsu and Vader. I was really happy with that show. Um, the next question is from Sonic Steve. Josh? What? Okay, the next question is, how gay is Oshijex? <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> Oshijex, how gay? Uh, <laughs> well, let's see here. Uh, Sonic Steve 13. Oh, that's Steven at Skype. Yeah. Steven, I'm going to kick your ass. Yes. Uh, Steven, here, here's, how, here's how we determine how gay Steven really is. Okay. Everybody who has Saints Row 2, if you ever run into a guy named Whale Shark or something like that, Please turn on unlimited ammo and unlimited sprint and proceed to pelt him with pipe bombs repeatedly until he dies and then teabag his body. <laughs> that is how I feel about it. Yeah. Because that's okay. exactly what I did two days ago. Okay. And the next question comes from OceanX21. Oh shit, this guy. <gasps> and he asked me, how great is Wally? I don't know. No, not me. I'm just a regular guy. That's how I launched Oh, it. no, you're not. You can't be. No, you're, you're, you're very great. I'll just like, like, like there's, 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 there's a scale of great. There's like, not great, great, and then there's Wally. <gasps> really? This, I get my own scale? Um, yes. Okay. You are your own level of greatness. Our next question comes from our, our good friend Homer, and he asks us, uh, when will Icon win the IWT Denny's Grand Slam Championship? Okay, well... What does the I um well first of all Homer hasn't even well Icorn hasn't legitimately won any actual titles yet in IWT. Iron um, Man Heavy Metal Weight Championship. Yep, I, I I said not like proper titles like the, the that's just the hardcore title you know what I mean it's just it's not yeah, an it. actual it's not it doesn't it shouldn't be an actual title legitimately it's just a hardcore title that I use for screwing around and stuff like that and he does hold the most records I'll, I'll give him that you know. 27 times the freaking hardcore champion. Um, Speeding so, Ravens record. Yep. Um, and I so Icorn has to win a world title, um, the mid card title, and the tag team title. The um, Sprite Nation I, championship as of right now. The Sprite Nation t- t- uh, title, the world title, and the KOI tag team titles. Um, and there, wait, there's a Grand Slam in there somewhere. So, what else? What do you mean? There's a Grand Slam, there's a Triple Crown, and then, then there's the Undercard Triple Crown. Yeah, but there's four titles with the yeah, Grand Slam. Yeah, the, thir- the fourth title is the Hardcore title. Okay, very good. The fourth title is either the Hardcore, the Legends, or the Legends Tag Team. They're all classes Undercard together. I see. Um. So, yeah. So, Icorn has to win all three titles somehow. And I, I don't want to rush his world title Um. push quite yet. Because I, I plan it to be a really good feud, and I want to have a storyline going with it, and I'm I'm not too sure right now who I'm gonna who I'm gonna set it up with, but I know I, I I'm for sure he will be a Denny's Grand Slam champion eventually one day. In my opinion, though, Icorn. In, in all seriousness, I don't mean to make like a big reference here, but I like I'm joke around with Homer about this a lot though, but. I see him as a uh, Samoa Joe style character where he's just like this big guy yeah. who kills people and dominates and can't be beaten. And you know how they got Joe over in TNA? Boom, X Division Championship. Nobody can beat him. Yep. That's that's what he needs. He needs a great mid card reign somewhere, and then they can just gradually push him up to the world title. That's how I see him, by the way. Yep. Well, I I don't know. I, I plan to give him a good a good shot at it. So I'll, he had a good showing at IWT one night stand. You saw his dominance over Ty. That was like really good. And then and then of course Blake just managed to pick up the pace like last second and and edge over you and Icorn somehow. But see, <clears throat> he had a really good showing. So you know 
the future is yeah. quite bright in IWT. We haven't done there's only been two shows, so we can't really say what's going to happen realistically. There's only been two shows. There's only been a, an actual show and a CPV. So, until I actually start like chucking shows out at a regular pace, we we don't actually know what's going to happen. Um the next question is again from Hadouken. When will Hadouken be good? Never. I think I'm if kidding. He, I think if he actually like worked on his car and tried to figure out an attire that didn't make him look like a ripoff, he'd be fine. I think. I think he, he, he he'd fit in at least. He also needs to just like just chill. You yeah. Know, don't take his call too seriously and just watch how he's booked. Yeah, and also just and, find, and also, that, I think, find something I think getting, original. I think getting involved with um, at least giving suggestions in booking sometimes actually makes your case look better. Sometimes. Yeah, and the the other thing about it is that you know you, you need to find some sort of look on it. it. You can have inspirations from everybody or whatever. Yeah. But just find one look you like, center on it, and build it, and try not to make it exactly almost like one other person's attire. Yeah. I think that's I think um suspect has done like a good job over the years like kind of mixing up his attires a lot so you don't actually get one you don't oh, yeah. you don't get I... one look of suspect ever at one point you always get I... a mixture of different looks at a time so I'm definitely going to give Wally credit for that you know as as much hate as or criticism as suspect gets you know Wally has changed up suspect's look many 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 times before so it's just like suspects He's not sticking on the same look, and he's actually unique and still got something that's going to separate him from every other original call out there. I, I never, I never, like, I, I tried to finger the black skin at the time was, like, not a, you know, it wasn't, it, I, I thought the uniqueness came from the black skin originally, but it's not that. It's just, it's, I think it comes from the charisma and the personality that I put to him. You know, I put him in a uh, high flyer. He has, like, confidence. He brings, like, something different to the ring. You see him, like, with his cockiness, he has to do like a, uh, a, a, um, you know, this, the suspect shuffle. That was like a big thing for me. Like I was like, oh, you know, no one else uses the the shuffle. You know, why has no one ever tried that as a signature move? Like it brings like the, you know, it's like it built it builds the crowd up, and you know, you're like, oh, he's done the suspect shuffle, and now what's he gonna go for? He's gonna go for the lariat. That's how he's gonna end the match. Like you know, the <laughs> momentum yeah. to it. Yeah, suspect definitely has his own unique and defined personality there on him yeah that's perfect about him i think there was like one other thing i was going to comment on about suspect but i forget exactly what it is right now i think the attires have been a big thing like i I don't know i've changed his attires over the years like a lot like he went through like um i i ripped off on um undertaker's biker look at one time was was like the second gimmick i came up with for him then there was the edge attire which i came up with was the rated black suspect t- star which i still get criticism for from burb she's like oh yeah, no, just, we're just the nickname and I, I will admit that was kind of too much that was kind of pushing it there yeah i was like it's just a nickname you know stop thinking about it so much it's just a nickname it shouldn't be such a big deal um, yeah, but there are such things as stupid nicknames that shouldn't be there when you could just be like the suspect and everybody's yeah, yeah, like. Yeah, okay. I, know. I used to put I used to put stupid nicknames because I don't take I don't take my car too seriously. So I used to put Javori is black was like the original nickname I used to put in there. So like for a long time when the, when he first came into WEDF, it just used to say Javori is black on the suspect nameplate. Oh, here's what I wanted to say about suspect. I remember this now. Um. I know how, like, Wally, like, tries to keep Suspect as a masked character so, like, nobody really sees his eyes or anything like that. He couldn't do that on 2011, and, you know, he had to deal with Suspect having eyes. And I was like, you know what? Suspect actually looks better with the eyes. It just just gives him a more menacing kind of look to his playful personality. Yeah. Because it's just like, when I see it, it's like, okay, here's this vibrant personality in Suspect, big, charismatic showman, yet at the same time, he's got this stare at you that when you step in the ring with him and that bell rings, he's all business. He's no more, he's not, he's not about, you know, hey, look, fans, C Nation, woo, all that, you know? Yeah. I, 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 I take a lot of inspiration of Suspect from Cena, I also, in a way, kind of thing. I don't know. I've always been a real big Cena fan. I have, I have like, um, I might even put this up later. Like I have an, 
like before Cena actually came out with the spinner belt back in 07, like the actual legitimate, like the WWE spinner belt, like in between his um, United States reign and his like spinner belt reign, I actually had designed a belt when I was like freaking like small. Like I actually built a, my, like I built a belt out of paper and it actually spins and stuff. So I don't know. I might post that picture up later or something. It's just like everybody who's done that though. <laughs> Everyone at one point in their life has made a toy belt out of cardboard or paper or something like that. Yeah, it's it's still up in my room. That's how how big a Cena fan I was back then. I think it's still up there. Um, the next question comes from um from Derek. Derek's, and it it asks, "How heal are you, Ollie? I'm I'm very heal at the moment. He like, is very heal. I am very very heal." Um, the next question comes from I Know Cool One. Um, when will IWT make its next show? Well, if you read the actual comments on the thing, I plan on posting it sometime next month, preferably. Sometime maybe after the 22nd or 23rd. So sometime after that, I will probably get on to that. Um, so yeah, you're, you're, yeah, you're looking at a month at least before the next show comes out. At least I've actually not... started recording it already, but um, I'm not going to release it till later because I've got some exams coming up. So I really don't want to get distracted and trying to, you know, edit together an IWT show before an exams session. It's more IWT. That is all that matters. Um, next question comes from Brent Harvinator. Can I be an IWT? You actually no. could be. I'm not sure. We we have a lot of roster spots, though. So I don't know. We I might put you in as an extra talent. I might not. You know, Damn it, you should have told him no, because he's gay. I'm kidding, but still. I still remember when Brent tried to take the World Heavyweight title. That was the funniest shit ever. <laughs> yeah, seriously, why would you try to take the World title that has no history to it? I mean, that's like the most obvious way to pad your own ego and stuff. And stuff. I wouldn't even, I mean, I wouldn't have even I, done I, that. I know I gave you, like I said, oh, just take titles, but... I didn't mean place them on yourself. <laughs> That's, I meant keep, use them in your fed. If you have a fed, use them like in that way. Just like, just like, like uh, I know HOC has the IWT Legends title, and he, I was like, oh, okay, I might, I might grab that off. But I might claim that back eventually since I'm back. Um, it's like how NAW is using the ACW World Heavyweight Championship in a way. Exactly. You wanted it, you use it like that. Exactly. You don't see Danny Jackpot putting the, da- the freaking like ACWL world title on himself at any point. It's it's because Danny doesn't do that. Danny is also a very smart person when it comes to Call of Duty, believe it or not. I know. He he has never had a COC reign because he just doesn't believe in it. And he actually like personally banned himself from the COC ra- rankings and stuff like that. He yeah, actually, he's already got too many world titles as is. Why does he need more? Yeah, and he doesn't actually like the COC belt overall. He doesn't like that it's being legitimized as a world title. I know that for a fact because I actually I like I remember when he won when he tried counting up my world title reigns and he was like, oh, three COC reigns, and he's like, those aren't like legitimate. And I was like, well, it kind of is. It is the world championship of all call, isn't it? Correct. <laughs> And okay, so the next question is um, now we got a bunch of questions from Otto because Otto asked the first couple of questions in this section. Otto asked okay. like a lot of questions. Okay, so the first question is wrestling, wrestling. Isn't that a shitty show from that um, Spoonie guy? Wrestling, wrestling. Um, oh god, it's like he did something where it's just like wrestling, wrestling. I don't know like, how he did it, but yeah. Was it- like, let's go with that. Yeah, yeah. So, um, I don't really watch Spoonie. I've never, I've never tried. I, I mean, oh, I know I've what watched, you did. I watched once, I think. I think I watched a, one of his reviews of like Final Fantasy VIII or something, and he sounded really like pissed off at it. And I was like, uh, okay, then forget it. Uh, well, Spoonie it, sucks, and he's a Nazi, pretty much. Like, if you, and, and plus I think his, wrestle, I think his wrestle, wrestle side is not even run. Is like the actual videos are not even by Spoonie, it's by like some other guy. So yeah, I, I kind of stopped watching that. Um, wrestling, wrestle, wrestle. It's something like that. I don't know. It's it's really gay. And plus, he, he the only reason he got popular is because he bashed TNA. Everybody got popular because they bashed TNA. Come on now, get out. Okay, and um the next question is um 
pig wrestling. Pig wrestling. I actually YouTube some pig wrestling just for this question, and I actually found it really interesting because it it looked quite weird. Like you got to grab a pig, and it's in like a mud sty, and like you got to put it in a bucket. So I was like, oh, this looks complicated, and like actually looks like you need some effort into it. Oh, there might be some yeah. skill involved. <laughs> it's that kind of pig wrestling. Yes. Ah, uh, shit. Okay. Pig uh, wrestling is probably <clears throat> real big in the south here, so that would suck. Um. Okay. And the next next one is mainstream wrestling. So I'm guessing that means WWE and TNA. Um. The thing with those are I. I'm I'm in a phase right now where I actually stopped watching Raw and SmackDown. I don't know what it is. I I kind of stopped watching it. I'm not in I'm not in a Dingo's type of mood where I just go, oh, I don't watch it. But then again, I know all of this stuff. Yeah, it's like I don't watch it. The Rock's the best part of the show because he's the only one from the nineties. Yeah, I mean, I I know I kind of know what storylines are going on, obviously, because I'm still on something awful. Like I I do still go on the WWE website, but I I haven't watched a Raw or a SmackDown like as a whole in a while. Right. The, like I know who the champions are just because I hear it on the chat box or I hear it here from you guys. Like I'm like, oh, Cena, you know, Cena's the current WWE champion and he's feud- feuding with whoever. But I actually haven't watched a legitimate show in a while. And I don't get TNA in New Zealand. I don't know. We we just don't have the cable power to get TNA apparently. So we're just stuck with just WWE, and that's all we get. Um, KPW doesn't even come on TV anymore because its its season ended like a while ago. So yeah, that's the only kind type of wrestling I get here. Yeah. Um, um, indie wrestling. I don't actually. Again, like I said, I've never watched an ROH show. I do like. I do like watching. I have watched a couple of times, like the Japanese fed, like the just the clip shows, like you know, you, like you see them from like these guys, like uh, Suicidal Dragon or whatever his name is. Like, oh those, God, those, Hero those, Wrestling is fantastic. Yeah, yeah, those guys who put those clip shows together, like for top ten videos, like I really like those sometimes, like especially Big Japan. I would say that's one of my favorite, um, like promotions out in Japan, especially because they have light tubes. I mean, that's freaking epic. <laughs> oh, and the other thing about it, I I know another reason why Pure Wrestling is so great. It's, like, non-serious sometimes, too. Like, they had this one match where a Japanese wrestler pretended he was wrestling someone who was invisible. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's, he was actually, like, that's, selling that's DDT, everything. That's, actually, oh, that's, another, that's another big fit. I'm a huge fan of was DDT, uh, Dramatic Dream Team. Um, That's where half of the names of the the IWT stuff actually comes from is from DDT. Re- legit, like the the tag team titles are named from DDT. That's how big of a fan. Even the hardcore title is from DDT. Um, <laughs> and metal heavyweight title is legitimately from DDT. It's like a, it's just a direct rip off of that. That's where the name came up from. Still though, I love DDT for that. Just to see that guy Especially doing blow up ball, like the blow up is a freaking awesome. Um, are you from New Zealand or just really black? Um, I'm not actually, I'm, I'm not being born in New Zealand. I've just, I've been living here for the last, like, six, seven years now. Um, I, I, not sure if I actually have a New Zealand accent. I'm not, I don't know. People tell me that, at least you guys do, but I, I never hear it from anyone else actually from here. how do how do they even know what a New Zealand accent sounds like? I, I, I actually I actually know what a New Zealand accent sounds like, but I I don't know how anyone like from the internet knows what a New Zealand accent sounds like. I actually legitimately know what a New Zealand accent sounds like. Um, yeah. Plus, Wally has said he's from India, and yeah. I can hear the Indian in his voice. That is easy to distinguish. Yes. Um. I'm. Yes. I'm not really black. I'm actually like quite brown i'm like i'm quite fair like among my family i'm quite the fairest among them so yeah i'm not that black um so so you would say if you would ever move to america you'd be working at the local (laughs) 7-eleven yes i think so but i'm currently stuck at a shit mcdonald's job so which is kiwi burgers kiwi burgers that is all kiwi burgers and the final question of this q Q and a can i has push now uh Sprite, you've been having a push for, like, forever now. <laughs> for God's sakes, you've held the freaking Sprite Nation title for long enough as it is. 
and I gave you a push to the Legends title and the t- and the, the 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 Legends tag team titles and the freaking like hardcore title. I gave you a push in all three places, <laughs> like four places at once. <laughs> You're the like, I, yeah. I have a question. You have a question? Question? Sure. Yes. It goes like this: In investigating the SCAW page. Oh, oh wait, that that's that's not a um, that's not a uh, question. Oh, okay, no, that's not a question. No, I'm okay. kidding. I'm kidding. I, I think I do have a question though. I just can't remember exactly what it is and stuff. How did you guess what that sound was? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! Don't tell them about that. <laughs> okay, about that because you know you will anyway. Nah, I won't actually. I really won't. No, no don't, don't guess what it is. Cause like, what sound is that? It's like we went. I went to this site where no, I. No, okay, we're not mentioning that on this Q and A. Okay, it's freaking PG. Okay, we we oh, are PG. PG. That's a lot. WT is PG now. Okay, okay. Bullshit. Come up with your actual legitimate it's question. Never been PG. You are a liar. You are a bad liar. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what is your actual question, Josh? Ah, uh, shit. Wait, hmm. wait for Josh to think of question. Do 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 do. Okay. Um. Would you ever be on like any other like um like if you got a new cap card or something? Yes. Just let's say you did. What game would you want to use? I. I'm quite sure I would actually really go back to Here Comes the Pain. I really, really liked that game. That's why I really, I, I really liked making the first, like, pow- when I made the first power, like, the first time I, I ran it through, I really, really liked that, that game. I actually made the best matches ever on that game, like, legitimately. Um, I wouldn't go to 2011, because I, just because I think the match, um, the match at times seems to not, make sense i don't know it's just me but i don't really like the match style on on um svr 211 um i'd either stick with here comes the pain or i'd go with um raw 2 back to raw 2 i'm i'm i get kind of annoyed with raw 2 also at times but it actually does do good mo- matches if if done properly it can pu- pull out good matches do you have two controllers for that yes i actually do Yay, but um, nope. I see what Wally's talking about with the uh, 2011 stuff. I find it very difficult sometimes to record some matches for new TNA. Like right now, I'm struggling on this one match with uh, Ryan Rex and Christopher Daniels. I can't really spoil like all the details in it, but um, AKA plugging to... for new TNA. Lol. Shut up. <laughs> I'm trying to give an example here. I can't help the shameless plug. <laughs> but I have, like, an idea of what I want to do, but I either find something I really don't like or I mess up somewhere on a really good recording and I get really mad at it. That's that's kind of... I've had troubles also with my recorder. Not, even with No Mercy, sometimes the recorder just screws up and, you, and you've lost your recording. I actually taped... When I taped um, IWT One Night Stand, um, there was originally meant to be a couple more matches. If if anyone actually was paying attention to the Call Wiki page back in the day, like there was supposed to be a couple of extra matches besides the actual tournament matches. There was supposed to be an IWT Women's Championship match um, because I was gonna I was gonna make an actual title just for the women's division because um, we actually have a couple of divas on the roster. I think we have at least eight. Um, <laughs> that that spawned out of just stupid jokes. Um, that was a match I actually taped. But I didn't actually get around to taping that one. Um, the other match that was supposed to be there was a money in the match match. Um, um, match of course the money in the match match briefcase was on the line and it was with Johnny and Chase Burger and Chase Burger by the end of the match. Um, his his finisher is like um, it's called the quad stacker, which is like four German suplexes. And he did that <laughs> three times in a row, and then gr- climbed to the top and you know grabbed the briefcase. And I like, I was so like, oh my god, this is the best freaking match ever. And then like, and then the recorder just goes, oh, sorry, your data is corrupted. I'm like, fuck, <laughs> god damn it. 
And it's just like this one this one time where Wally said there there was something very nice that happened in a match and it's like I'm like yeah, uh, you know. Yeah, I know. I can't do that because of spoilers, but I'm pretty sure there will be rage, or laughter, or both. Yes. Yes, because there's such a thing as maniacal laughing rage. <laughs> yes, like when when Osha Jack sees uh Jeff Hardy being <laughs> hit by with a rocket. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> that was just that was just maniacal laughter. There was no rage to that. And we see we we have a reply vid. We actually have a legitimate rep. There's a reply vid to that. Yeah, that's the, that's the, that's the most what the fuck I know of that. Like, There's like a reply vid. The, the, the reply vid. How the hell do you get a reply vid? Like I didn't even get a reply vid when I said suspect was re- like going to go to Sprite. <laughs> like there was like hardly any. Like there was like a couple of replies. Like why are you doing this? Uh, like you know, there's like a couple of comments, but there was no reply vid. I didn't even get none of that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I can't believe somebody still did a reply vid on that, too. Yeah, I'm surprised by that, too. I'm like, whoa, what's a, a reply vid? That's that's a bit, like, going a bit overboard, but whatever, you know? Yeah, just to hear, like, double laughter, though. It's just like, it's like, yeah. oh. it's like I was watching this video. Uh-huh. It's, it's, just, it's just like, you know, it, it had to be like, L, it sounded like, it sounded a little like LT doing it and yes i'm only saying that because the guy sounded british it's as bad as like you know us doing like a car nitpicking video or something really stupid like that <laughs> Let's... hey don't make fun of johnny <laughs> yes johnny no not it's johnny famous. i mean i mean like the actual literal car nitpicking like the freaking p fan version where you... oh, oh right right the one that new legacy stole from them so, yeah. yeah yeah the one that new legacy stole from p fan don't you know <laughs> yeah because p fan is so original p fan suspects number two fan <laughs> suspects number one fan fuck <laughs> I wish I could find that comment again cause that's how awesome like I would just read that out right now <laughs> because of the sheer like dumbness of what the fuck does that even mean mas- Master Boo Boo like seriously <laughs> it was just like it, it made absolutely no sense to me and I was like what the heck <laughs> it's like, that made no sense whatsoever. <laughs> like I, um, it's like I like suspect because he's not boom, pretty much. That, that that's like a brief summary of what <laughs> Master Boo Boo said. Yeah, that's really what it is. But speaking of that whole you mad stuff, Johnny Slip Lt, all those guys in NL, they're they're actually they're actually pretty smart as to call stuff. They they normally relay it to um, real professional wrestling, but I think call is sort of shifting over into a more realistic direction, more so than just, you know, straight comedy. Because, you know, there's a good few comedy feds out there. Yeah, I know. I, 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 I've always stuck to the... I've, I, I think I've stuck to a comedy basis just because I, I could never... I couldn't do a serious wrestling show. I don't think I have the the booking mind to just pull that off really i i could never pull that off legitimately i could never make iwt into an actual serious fit i actually tried to at the start but um my comedy sense just took over it couldn't be um a serious fed legitimately yeah it, wally is sort of smart at being serious i'm like kind of smart but i'm not like i don't it's, it's just basically not one great mind could just be like, hey, look, this, you know, and actually, like, write it all out and make it make sense. Because even when you book something, you're going to second guess yourself and be like, that doesn't make sense. The only one who I really know can really do that is uh, Burb in new WWE because she's she's been chugging along, booking her own show, not really asking anybody for any input. From what I've seen, anyway. Yeah, I know. She actually does. She does quite a good job sometimes. I've seen like some of her results of her booking have been quite good. Like I've seen some superstars come out on top. 
Yeah. Like Zack Starr winning it, like Royal Rumble, was quite a big thing, I know. And he's he's been, like, really, really pushed to the moon. Yeah. Right when he got in. So, so there's that. Yeah. Uh, and I, do you think we're done with this Q&A now, Josh? It's been one hour. We've been going at this for one hour and 20 minutes. I'm serious. I don't, I'm not sure and who's just, actually going to be listening to this for one hour and 20 minutes. Uh, I know who will. Who do you think will? People who agree with me about how great Wally is. Oh my god. Okay. Meaning probably Homer and Otto will quit somewhere and Sprite will just listen to the Sprite questions and then quit. Okay, okay. <laughs> <sighs> I think we're done. I think with this Q and A is done because we don't really have any more questions unless you have one more question for me, Josh. I don't. I, I can't. How think did you guess that sound? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> we will talk about that in private. Yes, we will talk about that in private. Too. Okay. And thanks um, for everyone for listening to this um, q and I hope someone actually listens to this in whole. I hope so. It's quite long and lengthy, I know. But yeah, thanks anyways. And IWT stop. loves you. And maybe and if you want you can If you ask me politely, I might put you on the roster, you know. You never know. Seriously. <laughs> you should, oh, I know you should put on the roster. <clears throat> question. Oh my Is, god. Mar Thomas going to be signed to IWT. <laughs> yes, De- Demar Thomas is going to be signed to IWT. I managed, I've, I've actually made a good Kool Aid call, so he's actually been signed to IWT now, like Kool Aid. Like literally, uh-huh. the commentator has been signed to IWT already. So, <laughs> <laughs> shit, shit. <laughs> yep. And bye. <laughs>